I don't want to run away from them. I want okay. to be able to read and get through it. And I just, I know it's fucking hard, and I hate saying this shit. I hate reading this shit. I, I don't want you crying, and I can't stop that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy to hear from you now. Did the virus go get up in your body? Um, I stay away from it. I don't want that thing. It's about a little kid. It's about a little that's kid. What I'm, You're that's what I'm thinking to is, to do is, is with a little yeah. kid. You asked her to marry you. I know. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck was wrong with me? What was wrong with you is you had a fantasy to fuck a little kid and you tried to do it. That was that's what was wrong kid. with you. Hi there. Is this long? It is. What's up there, Matilda? Oh, you was right. Oh, I just got through laughing with this tall white man right here. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know he was with his husband. Oh, he yeah. recognized me and gave me a big hug. And then I asked how you was doing. And the pretty little elegant flower petal here just smiled so big. And I said, mm, Lord, move on to you, baby. We had a good <laughs> laugh. Even through the mask, I could see her smile. Oh, no. I've, is she okay? She sure is. And what she told me was for you not to be upset because I let her dial the number into my phone and she going to delete it right after this. I just wanted to see oh, if they okay. were Pulling my leg, Matilda had gastric <laughs> surgery. I got my tummy tucked, and I don't got much leg. All to right, do. I don't got much leg to share. You can't be pulling on my leg now. It's a skinny thing. No. <laughs> All right, I won't pull your leg, Matilda. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to hear from you now. Did the virus go get up in your body? Um, I stay away from it. I don't want that thing. Oh, nobody want it, baby. <laughs> nobody want it unless they try to kill themselves and they don't want to pull the trigger. Yeah, no kidding. No, but Turn you've up. been okay. Turn you and your loved yeah, ones I have. are healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, my loved woman is right there with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are still crazy, young man. You make Matilda laugh. Yeah. Oh, okay. she's she, she right there. Well, right now they have it in for labs, and I'm holding on to her phone so she didn't have to turn it into a plastic bag to somebody. Lord knows what he's going to do with this bag of stuff. She has a nice phone. It looks like it's adorned with crystals or something. Oh, she wants she wants to be fancy. <laughs> oh, I ain't never seen anybody this fancy come in coughing like she is, but in high heels, Rudy Giuliani's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she, yeah Matilda, I'm gonna bring you in the store with me here. Oh, that's Real fine. Quick. You, you just get, don't get, get me get anything nasty. that's too fattening now. All right, I'm not because I'm gonna smoke it. <laughs> I need to get cigarettes. Oh, now you know what Matilda think about that, but I'm not going to scold you. I know you. that. Can I get a pack of my Rolls Royce 100s, please? Oh, you smoking the good brand, baby. Yeah, well, normally I don't smoke it. No, the tall silver pack. I know. Tall silver pack right there. I plan to have some fun with President Trump's bad decision, too. <laughs> yep, I'll tell you 100s, yep. Uh, six. I won't three, dance four, five, with six. somebody. I won't feel the heat. She can hear the music in the background. She's singing. I sure can. <laughs> I ain't trying to distract you, baby. You go through your transaction. Will we get there? Six. Hey. What was it 53? Oh, all right. All right. Thank you. All right, Matilda, I'm going over the store here. Okay. Now, listen, I was requested to give some information to you. Now, Matilda ain't going to tell you a thing about smoking and how it's going to kill you. 
I but know. <laughs> what Matilda is going to tell you is, I heard you had a canine friend you share a house with. Yeah, oh yeah, I got two of them. Oh, well, I seen the Roscoe little baby. I seen the little baby's paw today. Yeah. She asked me for an opinion. I got to tell yeah. you, baby, you touching your... You touching your fingers on that open wound made me feel uncomfortable. You got to make sure oh. you wash between your fingers for two whole minutes. That's happy birthday twice. And you like to yeah, sing all the verses. <laughs> Maybe it's just once for you. <laughs> well, I, was, I was trying not to touch her open wound, but I was trying to be able to move her, her uh, toes out so that I could see inside of it more. Yeah, but then See if you it was, expose how, it to... If it was discolored and stuff. Yeah, I understand. You expose it to things you can't even see, like microorganisms in the flakes of your dead skin. Now, you're a hard-working man, what. and your hard-working hands shed more skin than you think. So do me a oh, favor. Oh, I know. <laughs> Don't hold it against Matilda that she's scolding you a little bit. I won't hold it against you, Matilda. Oh. How can I hold that against you? Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to take her to the vet tomorrow, though. See if I can get her you know, some antibiotics or antiseptic or something to see if they can do some, figure out what it is. No, I, know, I know it came from the hard crust of the snow because we just got a storm, a big, a bad storm. And it knocked the power out of my house for three days, and I just got it back this morning. Then... Uh, they froze last night, and uh, my brother's girlfriend brought her dog. My brother's girlfriend brought her her dog over, and her dog is hyper. And they went out the back dog door and opened the pen, and they were running around. I, that's where she kept that. Mm, mm. So, so I'll bring it to the vet tomorrow, so they can vet it and do what they got to do. Well, that sounds good in practice. I'm very happy to hear yeah. all of that. So. Let me just ask you one question before I go. Now, you used to have a girl you were talking to. I know. I remember when. Winning? She told me you yeah, live in Canada. Is it bad in Canada? No, uh, no, I live in Maine, right next to Canada. Oh, you're a Mainer. So is my mother. Yeah. She grew up right, oh, really? near, right near Bangor. Really? I'm about 50 miles from Bangor. Oh. Well, what a small world we all live in. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually right next to Skowigan. I don't know if you know where Skowigan is, but I'm right next to there. Oh, I most certainly do. My mother yep. was in a rest home up no there kidding. before she passed away. Oh, no kidding. I've been it's out there a few small times. world, isn't it? It sure is. I wish I would have known about you. We could have gone out for some drinks or maybe had some in. <laughs> Had some what? <laughs> Maybe had some say, in. Some in? Some in what? <laughs> oh, you are being bad. I was just yeah, thinking. Yeah, I thought you were being bad. <laughs> uh, my, I am black, but uh -huh. I am blushing. Thank Lord for the pigment. <laughs> no, honey, what, you, you, what I meant. You know, was, you know that Will, that Will is, is Winnie's husband, right? Oh, yeah, baby. I know. He was over all yeah. the time. I thought you was a dirty yeah, I, secret I, I, that I Matilda thought you remembered him. I thought you was a secret Matilda had to keep. <laughs> yeah, well, Will was a secret that, that Winnie kept from me that I didn't know for quite a long time. Oh, that girl. <laughs> she sure is something. Yes. Yeah, she is. Yeah. She, oh. She definitely loves us. <laughs> well, I don't want to keep Isn't you on the phone for too long. I'm very happy to know you're doing well. It, uh, how, how's Jamie doing? Is she, is she she's getting tested or what? Well, she came in and we gave her a breathing treatment. We're just making sure that her labs are coming in okay so we know we can send her home and she's going to be all right. Okay, good, because I'm worried about her. Worried about all three of them, because all three of them have it. Oh, well, you know, Winnie could outlive a cockroach. <laughs> no, I, I hope so. Her I've seen that girl. Everybody else's. I've seen that girl yeah. pull herself out from the hole of death at least twice. No, no. Three times. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, she, she definitely bounces back, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, you can't ever stomp that one out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. That's a good thing, though. She's very resilient, and I admire her and her openness. Yeah, she's she's a uh, she's unique. <laughs> she is very unique. Oh yeah, <laughs> and you better be careful, or she'll sneak up on you. Oh yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> she she sneaked up on you before. <laughs> oh, she always does. She starts to grope Matilda. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she even told me that you said that she should do it all the time. I said Long would not say that. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> of course not. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even know that she groped you. Oh. Uh, I, I knew that she did once. I knew, I knew she did once because she told me about it. I told her, I said, Winnie, don't do that to her. <laughs> I, mean, I guess she did it more than once, huh? <laughs> now, you tell me. You knew the girl for as long as I did. You think she stopped at once for somebody she called Big Titty Matilda? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't believe she stopped at once. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. uh, well, I'm going to hang up with you. All right, Matilda, thank you. And, um, well, I, I tell you, I'll text Jamie anyway and... All right, ask her if she can text me when she gets out of the hospital there. I will pass Please. that along. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.